Hey everyone, my name is Ronak back with another video and in this video, I am going to talk about some of the mistakes that I have made in the past and that you can avoid. So these are some of the things I have particularly handpicked that you should be doing while you are pursuing your engineering or any other degree which is related to computer science and IT. Obviously in the near future, I will tell you how you can transition to the uh, area of computer science uh, if you are from a different background. But for now, we will just stick to what is with the computer and IT people. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the content that I'll be posting in the near future. So coming back to the things that you should be doing in order to, you know, stick up with the trends and get the best possible job is that you have to focus on the subjects that you have in your undergrad. Okay. It often happens that we feel that the syllabus is quite old then it is uh, required so i'll particularly talk about the things that are in india okay so i am talking with respect to india at the moment so we do feel that the syllabus is very lagging uh, when it is compared with the real world but that is not always the case the syllabus consists of the basics that are required to get you started with the area of the computer science. So how you can actually try to, you know, stick up with the trend, I'll tell you. So there are some of the very, I would say important subjects that people don't often uh, try to see, which are data structures, algorithms, uh, database management systems, and so on. If you consider a general degree of the computer science in India, the subjects that you're likely going to get are database management systems, data structures, algorithms and analysis, uh, operating systems, computer networks, and computer organization and architecture. So these are the common subjects that you will come across in uh, your engineering or uh, let's say bachelors of science. Uh, so these subjects you need to focus on, but how you can leverage these subjects to the best benefit of yourself, because it does happen that people try to focus on many activities and uh, leave the academics aside and I myself have done that in the past all right and that has uh, caused me uh, not I would say a great loss but I lost some very good opportunities because there are many organizations companies or let's say different colleges that require you to have a good GPA okay so your uh, CGPA needs to be very very high and since I was not focusing on the syllabus much and I was focusing on the other aspects which are uh, not in the academics terms. Okay, so I was focusing more on the project development hackathons. Obviously, it is better for you to have those in your resume because it is going to uh, most likely increase your chance of getting hired somewhere. But if you have a very decent GPA, it is always, always good. Okay. So if you have a decent GPA, you will be always considered over the person who has a very, very low GPA, but has a lot of skills. Okay. So I don't know, there might be some, uh, let's say convention that just states that if you have a certain amount of uh, grade pointing average, you are more likely to learn things faster. Okay. So how you can, uh, you know, try to use the subjects that you have in your engineering. Okay. So if we now let us uh, start with data structures, so data structures particularly consists of stacks, queues, uh, hash tables, graphs, trees, everything. But what if, so let us just keep aside, uh, all the languages. Okay. So I myself am a Python programmer, but let's say you are a person who likes to code in Java or someone uh, likes to code with the JavaScript or C or CPP. You can just pick any language you want. Okay. I don't care what kind of language. Okay. I don't just require the language wars. Okay. I'm not considering that. I'm just talking about the languages that you can consider and how you can leverage them. Okay. So you just take a language and try to implement those data structures. Okay. And you have to do this while you are learning the subject. So let's say most likely uh, data structures is a subject that uh, occurs to the CS or IT people in uh, let's say their second year. Okay. So third or fourth semester like that. So it is a very, very basic subject and it is good that if you can implement all of those data structures. Okay. So let us consider Q. So if you can implement the NQ DQ operation using uh, the language you're comfortable with 
it is very very good because you are sticking to the trends see finally everything boils down to the data structures and algorithms if you want to become a software development engineer okay in any of the company let's say the big four i'm not even considering big four but also many other companies okay so so big four is basically like fang okay you might have heard of it so considering that you want to become a software development engineer in the near future it is better that you should have a great deal of understanding of the data structures and algorithms okay because if you can implement those in your practice very efficiently it states that you have a deep understanding of all of the concepts okay so that itself indicates that you are a better fit for the job because after that the company is going to train you according to them okay so not always you are going to learn all the things that are available in the market but they are going to train you accordingly to adapt to those things so let's say if you want to become a software development engineer you have to just focus on the data structures and algorithms very very efficiently okay so you need to not just know the concepts theoretically you must also be able to implement them okay you can choose a language of your preference like i said i don't just want the language was so you can definitely do that you can take c plus plus c java javascript python any language okay but you should be very comfortable and confident applying them okay that, that is the thing that was i would say one of the greatest mistakes that i have done in the past and i just believe that you shouldn't commit the same mistake okay so whenever uh, you are a sophomore please try to implement this okay so whenever you learn them in the college or learn them by yourself just try to implement them okay so that is going to improve your understanding after that uh, let's say algorithms analysis okay so that is one of the subjects that you are going to come across in your second year or third year itself in that you have to learn the basics of it okay so greedy approach and dynamic approach after that try to learn some algorithms in them okay so some basic algorithms let's say dijkstra's algorithm knapsack algorithm uh, then you have have uh, lcs uh, then you have uh, let's say anything associated with the graphs okay so uh, b plus trees and you have red black trees uh, then uh, you have heap max heap min heap okay heaps so these are all of the algorithms that you should be very very comfortable with basically you should be comfortable with the basics first that is the searching and sorting okay so quick sort bubble sort merge sort you should be you should be very very comfortable with those even uh, when it comes to the searching okay so binary search and all of those things so you should be able to implement these in the language you are comfortable with then later on like in your final year or let's say uh, uh, like when you just transition into the final year you should be practicing this to implement them using the uh coding platforms so let's say there is lead code or hacker rank you can use those and you can try to practice them okay so if you can comfortably implement these algorithms and data structures you can get easily landed into any job that is with the software development engineer now let us talk about let's say uh, it often happens that not all the people are very good with the data structures and algorithms even i say my data structures and algorithms is just limited to a certain degree okay so my expertise is with the machine learning algorithms okay i uh, i'm comfortable working with the machine learning so if you want to learn ml you can definitely uh, check out my channel but let's say if you are inclined towards the data structures and algorithm it, it is good for you okay but let's say some of the people are very comfortable with the dbms okay that is the database management systems so that is kind of a system score so okay so it is a theoretical approach more that you have to learn to implement so how you can do it so don't just sit after learning the concepts so okay, try to implement them so uh, you will come across uh, let's say sql in that so try to implement the sql okay try your hands on let's say uh, mysql ms sql postgres sql okay you should be comfortable using those you should be able to fire the queries you should be able to make procedure calls you should be able to comfortably uh, perform uh, uh, concurrency control and transaction procedures and everything okay you should be very very uh, well versed with all of those dbms concepts if you are very very comfortable with those you can easily land into any systems engineer job okay because database management system is like one of the most important subjects i would say that is in your second year okay i neglected that subject for quite a long time and later on uh, it was a very important concept when it came to the machine learning approach because you have the allotted amount of data and you have to perform exploratory data analysis on it 
so there was a loss that i was not focusing on the dbm as much and apart from that there are many subjects in the computer science background where you can learn a lot of things okay so uh we can uh, talk about the automata theory so that is i would say the basis of the compiler design okay so if you are comfortable with the automata theory if you can uh you know uh conceptualize the uh deterministic nature of it uh non-deterministic nature of it and everything okay uh, murimili machine uh turing architecture if you are comfortable with all of these things you can easily get to uh, you can easily get started with the compiler design course okay so which is lexical analyzers and everything so the tip that i want to give you like the most important is that please 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 focus on the academics don't take it lightly i have taken it lightly and it has costed me a lot okay i have not been uh you know able to uh get into very great jobs okay because my gpa was quite low my skill set i developed over the period of time okay i was focusing much more on the activities prospect but that is not the case that you should be always doing okay so please try to uh, learn the things that are already there in your academics because if you can easily learn the things that is uh, there in your academics you can easily catch up with the other things okay it is not an issue because uh your brain needs to be continuously harnessed under the learning procedure i was focusing much more on the hackathons aspect okay i'll talk about this in uh, some future videos where i'll give you advice about how you can get started with the hackathons and everything okay so i have done around 9 hackathons but uh, keeping that aside today's uh point that i wanted to give is that please focus on the academics okay don't take it lightly please try to learn all of the aspects okay take any subject you want i don't care uh, which one you like okay you can some people might like operating systems some people might like computer networks okay if it comes to computer networks you should be very very well versed with the error correction controlling mechanism oslas tcp ls tcp ip cisco network architecture all of these things okay enterprise design you should continuously learn what is there in the field at the most okay so i went up with the machine learning because i found it very interesting okay i was interested with all of these algorithms and the things that we can do with the ml okay so i started with the ml okay but i neglected a lot of important subjects in the past that i should have not done okay so i was uh, pretty much fascinated by the ml and i was only learning that okay so and i was neglecting the uh, data structures and algorithms so i was not able to land in any of the software development engineer job okay so that was a loss i would say but uh, this is the message that i want to give okay so please try to learn uh, the different things okay it is good for you and it will be very very much better for you if you want to learn the machine learning deep learning you can, you can just check my channel okay i have even python tutorials on my channel so if you like my content please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss out on any of the updates okay so many more videos are going to come in the near future and i don't want you to miss any one of those okay so this is it for today's tutorial so thank you for watching goodbye